before we move forward, let's also uh, get you a status check of where the market is settling in. Because after a quiet start, we've slowly begun to drift lower. You can feel that impact on the market breadth, whereas largely most sectoral indexes are now um, sitting in the red, barring perhaps oil and gas. Uh, that too, thanks to the move that you're currently seeing on OMCs, this is beginning to hold out in IT. That's another hiding pocket today. But BEML, they've uh, bagged a 900 crore rupee Kolkata metro order and they're also eyeing 800 crore rupee revenue from defense aerospace verticals. There's also been an improvement in railways as well as mining segment for them. So let's bring on board Mr. DK Hota, the CMD at BEML. He joins us on the show right now. Mr. Hota, the company ventured into manufacturing and supply of high tech metro cars, as we understand. And since uh, 2002, when you did make that venture, you've supplied to various metro rail car operations. Tell us a little bit about Kolkata Metro Rail Order and what it brings on the table for you. Well, uh, Calcutta Metro Order, uh, they were trying to place it uh, and this was the fourth time it went through a lot of trouble and uh, there were a lot of multinational companies which perhaps uh, pulled out and all that. But uh, net net, uh, it was awarded to us at a very competitive price, almost about 84 coaches. So this is truly the first totally indigenously designed and developed metro coach by BML. Since 2002, we have supplied over 1300 metro coaches to the various metro corporations, predominantly in Delhi Metro, Jaipur Metro is totally with us, Bangalore Metro is totally with us. Uh, now we are planning to uh, venture into other areas as well. So you would see a total of 47% of all the metro produced in the country has been produced by us. Calcutta Metro assumes greater significance because it is really totally indigenously designed and developed by us and uh, it's a major shot in the arm for us. This will help us to become eligible for a whole lot of other metro uh, orders which are on the anvil. For example, uh, you have almost about uh, 300 coaches for line 3 of Mumbai Metro where we were made ineligible because of some eligibility criteria. Uh, that has been sorted out now for the balance line 2 and 7 for another 350 coaches. So we are uh, extremely bullish on the overall. Uh, at the moment, as I said, we have about 200 coaches orders which are being executed. Another 200 are expected. And uh, we are expecting in the next couple of years a total of 1,000 uh, you know, orders to come into the marketplace of which we assume at least 20 to 30% should come to us. You've set an ambitious target of 50% growth in the defense and metro rail businesses in the coming financial year. What are the kind of orders uh, that you are getting? Is this target achievable? Well, uh, you know, it's important to have aspirational numbers and that aligns people. But just empty rhetoric is not going to help. You need to have uh, solid uh, plans on the ground. Uh, over the last two years, we have done a number of uh, enablers. Uh, one being uh, we are trying to rationalize our manpower re-engineer our uh, key processes, bring in greater accountability. On the metro, as I said, we have a lot of, we have added a line three, we have a capacity to do about 360 metro coaches in a year. Now, when you look at defense, there are a huge amount of stuff that is happening. All the platforms for the uh, radars or the missile systems or the bridging systems, these are all manufactured by us. Earlier, these used to have very high import content but now we have been able to successively bring in down over the years to something like 20% uh, uh, and it should go down further. Now, as far as mining is concerned, uh, there is a lot of traction in the construction space, uh, but you know, this is a volume game. But we are market leaders in uh, the dozers and dumpers, which essentially is uh, supplied to the various coal companies. There is a huge market emerging there for the high-end uh, dump trucks. And there uh, we have indigenously designed a 150 ton and a 200 ton dump truck, which uh, we are in the process of uh, giving it on a trial come sale tender to uh, Coal India. So uh, net net, I would say that uh, next year we should grow by another 30%. This year we have grown by 30%. And I think these are achievable. Now we constantly hear talks that government is looking at selling 26% stake in BEML. What is the status on that? See, I, uh, I think, you know, this is something that uh, would better be answered by the government, and you should ask them. 
as far as I'm concerned, the company is extremely efficiently run. And uh, you would know there are a lot of pluses and minuses either which way. Uh, you get a lot of pluses because of uh, being private. You have a lot of pluses because you are government. Uh, I, I see that uh, Bemel as a company would, uh, <coughs> sorry, Bemel as a company would continue to grow and prosper given the kind of economic growth, given the infrastructure development in the country. Because today, if you have to set up a plant anywhere, uh, you first need land and you need a lot of, uh, you know, ecosystem of manpower and technological prowess, all of which is there with BEML. So I would say that Bemel as a company should grow from strength to strength, whether it is in the private space or the public space. You also signed an agreement, as we understand, with the Defense Ministry for production of various weapons platforms uh, for the armed forces in 2017 as well as 18. What's the defense growth projection and what are the recent order wins in defense that you've had? Yeah, we have a very good order visibility of almost about 2,500 uh, crores for defense at the moment. And during the year, we should also get uh, sizable orders. At the moment, uh, we are looking at the various platforms, as I said earlier, for the, uh, you know, the radar, the missiles. Uh, we also make uh, missile sections ourselves. Then we made the recovery vehicle, Arjun Repair and Recovery Vehicle, in collaboration with CVRDE. And uh, we are also looking at certain aerospace options. Certain very exciting options are coming our way. Uh, we have recently also bagged an order for developing a 1500 horsepower engine for the main battle tank. So that is something that we have won against a tender. Uh, defense is a very exciting space, as I said, and we are constantly uh, looking at various, various options. And I, I think we should uh, increase our percentage of defense. At the moment, the defense percentage is about uh, 16 to 20%. So over the years, it should go up. Because what is happening is the mining, notwithstanding the construction uh, you know, uh, growth that you see in the country, mining companies over a period of time I think uh, we'll have to sort of reinvent themselves. So we don't see too much of growth in the mining side at the moment. So it is going to be the increased urbanization in the country, which means metro. It is going to be increased urbanization, that means railway coaches. In the rail, we are supplying memos, demos. Uh, we are looking at LHP coaches. We are looking at circular trains. Uh, and in the uh, defense, as I said, so you know, net-net, we have a lot of opportunities. And finally, what's the long-term growth outlook and guidance for BEML? Take us through the numbers for each segment. So we should not prophesize and, uh, you know, do astrology for too much into the future. But I would say, as I said, if the medium and high-speed train, the traction comes in, that is going to add two to 3,000 crores to our bottom line as and when that happens. In the metro space, with the increased urbanization, that should add another 1,000 crores. In the mining, we should grow at about 10% 10, 10 per year. Uh, so net-net, I would say in the next three years, uh, we should double from here. Okay. All right, sir, appreciate your time and glad you could join us. Meanwhile, I want to mark Midcap IP stocks and, you know, Midcap